Thank you. Well, at 3.30 in the morning a couple of nights ago, I had some things that was keeping me awake, so here they all are. <laughs> they say time heals all wounds. Although I feel this is true, I also feel that the quality of healing depends on what you do with that time. I think everyone in our generation has heard stories or have, or have personally been a part of the struggles of a Vietnam veteran who has dealt with, who has dealt with including suicide. Now fast forward 30 to 40 years and you can see all the advancements we have made in technology and military power. But one thing that remained the same was the well-being care of returning battle-weary soldiers. In 2005, my 23-year-old son, Jason, took his life shortly after returning home from a year-long deployment to Iraq. PTSD and suicide was still a dirty secret that the military wanted to keep under the rug. But what the military didn't see coming this time around was the number of parents, spouses, and loved ones willing to step up and tell our stories of what was really happening to our soldiers. I wish all of you could have known my son. He was handsome, of course. Funny, loving, and a caring soul. Even at his young age, when his unit had faced life-changing events, Jason was the one to make sure everyone was okay, whether by making you laugh or a simple pat on the back. Jason was an extremely talented artist and had dreams of going to school for graphic design. His death has forever changed our family, but we have chosen to honor his life by invoking the changes the military needs to make, ensuring the well-being of military members and their families. It has never been easy and, quite frankly, a battle on the home front, and I still hold anger that 40 years later we couldn't get it right on the coming home care of our soldiers needed. So how do we heal this time around? By doing what's right. I believe our future generations will only be as good as what foundation our generation is able to pass on. And I hope my contribution is compassion for military families. But I can't do it alone. So I'm asking you for you to help heal my wounds and countless others, which is over 6,000 military suicides in the year 2005. By hearing our stories and sharing them with family and friends to help us be heard and share your talent or resources with those that are already in the capacity of helping. So with that, I thank you for being here to hear my story, and I, and I would like to introduce you to another military mother who I had the privilege of meeting once before during a silent march in Washington, D.C. Ironically, it was Mother's Day 2006. I carried my son's combat boots during that march and knew that I was not alone on this path. I watched her come forward and make changes for us all. It is my honor to introduce you to Cindy Sheehan. Thank you so much.